All right, today we're going to walk through setting up scan to folder on a Canon Image Runner Advance for Windows 8. So the first thing we want to do is create our folder. So you're going to open up your Explorer, go to your C drive, and we're going to create a new folder. Typically I just name it scans, but you can name it whatever you want. Once your folder's created, right click it, go to properties, and then the sharing tab. And then we're going to click the share button. In this drop down, we're going to select everyone and add. And then we're going to change this to read and write and click share. And then done. Now, here in just a moment, we're going to need the computer name that's this right here. Go ahead and close that. And then we're going to open up a web browser with the IP address from your copier. You're going to put that in the web browser. Make sure you're not using this IP address. Once you get the login page, your system manager ID and PIN should be either 7654321 or 1234567. And that is for both of them. Go ahead and click login. And then from here, we're going to go to the address book. And then, of course, select whichever address list you prefer. I'll be using five today. Then we're going to register new destination. Under type, we're going to change this to file. Then click set. Here, just name it whatever you want it to show up as on the copier. Now, host name, this is the computer name that we needed a few minutes ago that I told you to copy. I'm going to paste that in there. Folder path is just the name of the folder that you created. And here, username is the username for your computer when you log in. And then, of course, you will need the password. And you have to have a password set in order for scan to folder to work. Now, if you ever change your password for your computer, you will have to come in here and edit this. Otherwise, your scan to folder will stop working. Once you have that information input, click OK. From there, you should be able to go to your copier, select Scanning, and send a scan to your folder. And then we also want to go back here to our folder we created to make it easier to get to. I'm going to right click. Create Shortcut. Now with Windows 8, it throws it in the same folder. Windows 7 will actually tell you it can't. And it will ask you to move it to the desktop. We'll just go ahead and drag and drop it there. So from now on, you can simply double click this folder and it will take you straight to where your scans are. Send a couple of test scans and you should be good to go.